Okay, we have uh, a few uh, bits and pieces to um, add uh, to this revolve feature to finish the model. We can start a new sketch on any planar surface, any flat surface, um, and we can do that by clicking um, the surface and then um, selecting Insert Sketch. And sketching is always easier uh, with the normal to selection set from the viewing um, options head up display uh, so a center point rectangle and a few dimensions should be um, all that's needed to um, produce uh, this uh, cutout for the, the sort of screwdriver slot and if we want to cut all the way across the model any dimension um, wider than the model will be fine in this case and the features tab extrude cut and set the depth parameter a blind cut it's pretty simple um, little cut out now this part does have a threaded detail which um, we add to the model rather than adding to a drawing later so if we want a piece of annotation and we do, we want a cosmetic thread, we use the insert drop down menu, annotation and cosmetic thread. Now this uh, annotation must be added to the, the edge of a cylinder and uh, not to the cylinder itself. So it can be either end of the cylinder and we can select um, the depth um, end condition up to next and the set of standards we want. Uh, the machine threads option uh, is the annotation that we want. Uh, we can see uh, graphically um, we have um, the thread there. If we expand the feature tray underneath the revolve we can see the cosmetic thread as a part of a feature. Uh, we could view that with the graphics options um, to display a, a graphical cosmetic thread. Um, changing the material, altering the material there, um, setting it to plain carbon steel was just a right click on material and edit material. And then using the evaluate tab we can measure the mass properties for that given material and geometry.